All right, so let's take a look at the markets. Now, we have two charts in the room, okay? So now we are going to be able to do an auto in. Uh, let's take on the auto a little bit longer. Um, I'm doing fully automation, not just turning on for specific, specific setups. It's going to be a fully automated 24-hour auto trade, or 23 hours, 24 hours a day. So um, that being said, um, it's taking a little bit longer than normal because um, uh, a lot of traders wanted it fully automated where you don't have to specifically turn it on. It will uh, look at the setups, these specific two setups that I'm going to go over, and it's, um, um, we'll get that update out to you guys when it's finished. So I'm making good progress on it, just heads up on that. Let's take a look at the markets on the two setups we'd like to look for. On the new update you guys are going to be getting, uh, this shows in the room already. Uh, my update is in the room already for you guys. Uh, these arrows fire automatically. So these arrows fire when a high probability trade is coming up. Uh, at the swing high at Carol, this one, this one, this one, this one. So since 5 o'clock this morning, um, we've had four good trades off of the ES. Um, if you look at, uh, this is a 1-20-20 Uni Rinko. So this is one of the largest time frames that we use as far as the Uni Rinko in the room. So um, what you want to do is there's two specific setups we look for, and these setups are called, number one, Nick, I'll go over this with you since um, you're relatively new. What is called an FZR. Now, what an FZR is, uh, it's a full a full zone retracement trade. Full zone retracement, FZR. And what an FZR is, the, uh, the, what you want to do is, is that we have this zone so this is a red zone right here the you see there's a zone these two red parallel lines moving down that's a zone where the market likes to retrace to and it doesn't matter if you trade future stocks currency uh, forex or even crypto markets it's the same exact setup you're going to look for on a daily basis so you, this is a zone we want to see to see the market retrace it's, it's pretty neat because it's so accurate. If you notice, the zone rejected price here this morning around 5, rejected price here at 7. But I'm going to show you how you can cherry pick trades and not even trade off of a longer Rinko bar. I'm going to show you how you can trade off of even a smaller Rinko bar for small stops. So that's the first trade setup we got. It's called a full zone retracement. You want price to come within a couple ticks of the zone, or even better yet, you want it to come up and get inside of that zone, okay? You want it to come up inside that zone, and that's called a full, full zone retracement. So if I make it larger here, get over here a little bit. So that's a full zone retracement. You see we came up, and why it's a full zone retracement, if you look at this oscillator below, we have a 20 and 80 line. The 80 line is red and the 20 line is green. So once you get above 80, it's no longer a momentum trade because the price is retracing too much. So if you get above 80 and you get at the zone or inside the zone, then this is a setup. This is called a full zone retracement. This is the best retracement zone you're going to get. Okay? Well, this arrow automatically fired right here. So on the update, that you guys can get is that you can use this as an indicator by itself and these arrows will automatically fire the settings are already done for you where these arrows will automatically fire for you so you don't have to understand what an FCR is I mean not understand but you don't have to see when an FCR is qualified or when a Momo is qualified the second trade we have is what if the oscillator does not get above 80 or below 20 so right now the market was moving down this morning and our oscillator the arrow fired before this oscillator got above 80 so that means the market has what it has momentum so the second trade we have so this is an FCR inside of the zone the second trade that we have on a daily basis and like I said this works on all markets the second trade we have is called a momentum trade because now the oscillator does not get above uh, 80 right here and it's away from the zone so you're allowed to take momentum trades away from the zone so this is called a momo trade 
which is momentum. And these are the two trades you look for. There's no 50, 60, 70 trades. There's no change in trades every six months or eight months or this and that. Because what I recognize by doing these strategies and these algos and everything, all this stuff, is that two specific setups happen daily in the market. Either we're in a MOMO or we're in a full retracement. And it's a combination of understanding this over the years is that what I recognize is the market likes to go to certain zones. It likes to go to a certain zone in reverse. And it likes, and if it doesn't go to the zone, that means the market has serious momentum and we're looking for a MOMO trade. So these are the only two specific setups you need to understand using this algorithm or using the system. It was designed to pick up these two trades and it happens on a daily basis. This is not where it happens once every two or three days. You'll see these on a daily basis no matter what market you look at. All right, so um, you can use that to your advantage as far as that goes. All right, so that's called a momentum, momentum setup. Momentum setup. All right, let me put that there. Because the oscillator didn't get above 80. So this is called a MOMO. These are the two setups that you need to understand. And we don't need you to understand any other setups because these happen on a daily basis. Like I said, guys, if you have a hard time understanding me, we're going through this sinus cold. So let me know and I'll slow down. I'll speak a little bit louder. All right, so that's a MOMO. So then price action comes up. Let's see where we're at right now. Price is moving along. And this morning, we come back into what? We come back into what? Above 80. So if we're above 80, Nick, if we're above 80 and we get into the zone, what's it called? Let's see if I'll quiz you a little bit here this morning. I'll get you back up to speed. If I'm above 80 and I get into the zone with this arrow fired, what's that called? An FCR, right, Sal, full retracement zone, full zone retracement. So on the algo that I'm doing for you guys, you can do the full zone retracement by itself. You can do the, you can do the MOMO by itself. You can do the MOMO with the tweezer, which I'll go over by itself. So I'm using toggle switches to allow you to enter these trades on multiple time frames. So whatever time frame, if you're a scalper, this is the same setup that comes up. If you are a position trader, same thing. Okay, Nick, so you're one for one. Sal, good job. Here we go. The second one. If the oscillator comes down now, and the best MOMO trades happen right after a qualified FZR trade. This is the my favorite trade because it's a lower high. It just happened this morning. What if the oscillator doesn't get above 80? What are we called? And we get the arrow that fires. What's that trade setup called? It's called a MOMO. Yep. Now there's momentum in the market. Now, don't make it any more difficult than that. If you start making things more difficult, you start not understanding price action. And you start getting stopped out more. So keep it simple. Now, this is a 20 Rinko, right? So this is a, those are the setups this morning we had this morning. Full zone retracement, momentum MOMO. All right, there we go. Now, what if, I'll take a picture of this. I'll send this out to you guys so you guys can understand here this morning. How can we cherry pick these trades though? Meaning, if it's a 120-20, so here's, here's what you got to understand about the Rinko bars, is that the Uni Rinko bars. The Unirinko bars, if you have a 120-20 Unirinko, you're going to have to let that, if you just trade off this chart by itself, you're going to have to let that breathe. So a lot of traders, what they do, you trade in this system, is they trade the micros. It's one-tenth of the big contract until you get used to the system. And the micros, they move just the same as the big contract. It's only a $50 uh, margin requirement under the NASDAQ 100. Uh, crude oil is 100, but mainly it's just a $50 margin requirement, um, and you're, it's one-tenth of the big contract. 
what I like for new traders, I always tell them that to educate them how to do this, start out with them, start out with sim trading until you're profitable on a weekly basis, but then go right, when you start trading live monies, go to the micro. If you can't make money with this with the micro micros, you can't make money with the big contract. So don't subject yourself to a lot of pain trying to learn the system. It's pretty easy. FZR Momo is easy to see, but I I educate traders. Go right to the uh, go right to the uh, to the micros first. All right, because it's one tenth of the big contract. The margin requirements are small, and um, especially when you, if you're going to start out with auto. But you know this is the two setups that we look for on a daily basis. All right. And it's all markets. This is not just the ES. You can trade all the micros. So what you can do is you can have this up. If you have multiple monitors, you can have this up for multiple setups. The Dow, the NASDAQ. NASDAQ moves kind of quick, but the Dow, you know, the Russell 2000, and so on. So, uh, but that's an FCR into a Momo. All right. Now, that's a 120-20. So the one thing about the 120-20, I'm sorry, I got off track a little bit. If it's a 120-20, that means this. When this Rinko bar turns red, let me educate you guys. Some of you don't, don't understand this. I know a lot of you know this already. But when this arrow fired right here, Nick, right? When it fired this for this big short on the ES, that next bar can tick, Rinko bar can tick all the way up to just below the high of that bar where the arrow happens. So in other words, it can go 20 ticks back up before a continuation. So if you trade off large time, uh, if you just trade off this chart, your stop is literally the swing high, just above the bar where it fired the arrow, right? So a lot of traders don't want big stops. Now, as far as if you trade the micros, it really doesn't matter, right? Because the micros, you're not taking a lot of heat. On the trade you don't take a lot of heat because a lot of traders just like trading off this time frame with the micros you're not taking a lot of heat with the micros but you're getting these big sustained moves just like the big contract so you can stay into the trade more more and you can be more relaxed trading so a lot of traders like that's why they trade the micros but see what if we could do this let's say you want to trade let this chart set the trade up the 120 20 and then go to a smaller time frame and enter with a smaller stop. We can do that. So the next chart I have beside that is a 113.13. Now, if you, I'm going to be very, very, very clear with this. If you just trade off this 113.13, you're not going to get the same set. I mean, you're not going to, you're going to get setups like this. You can't just trade the 113.13 by itself. Right. What I like to do if I'm checking down a smaller time frame is I like to do I like to show the the 12020 to set it up. So in other words, I like this to happen. I like the arrow to reverse in an FCR. Then I like to trade off the Momo off the 11313. So what I'm doing is I'm letting the larger time frame confirm, like right here. You see this 12020 called another one. Beautiful, right? Look how accurate the system is. Another FZR. So what if you don't want to trade off the 12020 with larger stops? Let's say you do the big contract and not the micros, and you don't want to take a lot of heat on the big contract. You can check down to a smaller time frame. So here's a trade so far this morning. What are we? One, two, three, four, five for five since 5.30 this morning on the setups on the full zone retracements and the momentum. So what if we want to trade down to a smaller time frame so we can get smaller stops? We can do that. Because what we can do, we can let the arrow confirm, we can let the arrow confirm a reversal at the zone. Let it confirm here. Let it confirm here. Then check down to a smaller time frame for a momentum trade. Now, let me show you how you do this. And this is pretty neat how this works if you pay attention. So if I get into an FCR and I get the error that reverses on a larger time frame, but you don't want to trade off the larger time frame. You're like, yeah, 20 ticks, that's a big stop. 
not for the micros. You can take the heat and you get these big moves. So if you don't trade the micros, big contract, here's what I, here's what I educate traders to do. Check down the 113.13. So this right here, we had, you're into the zone, right? So you're into the zone on the 113.13. You're into the zone. So let's say this this 113.13, it comprised of these boxes. Let's say the 120.20, it took 20 boxes, I mean, uh, Rinko's to, to form that, right? So be like right there. What you can do is you can wait for the move and average. Now, I have three moving averages on here, all right? The zone is the most important. You can't go against the zone. If it's a red zone, you can only short. It's a trend filter. The zone is basically a trend filter and where the market should reverse. But I have three, I have three moving averages in here. I got a standard 150 EMA, a standard 50 EMA on a smaller time frame, and a standard 20 EMA. Listen, moving averages are not magical. They're absolutely worthless by nature. Can't trade off moving average crossovers, all this stuff. It's just, it's, but you can use them for trend direction and setting trades up. The core behind this system is the zone. The zone and these speed boxes are really the core behind the system because without the zone, we wouldn't know where the market should reverse. And without the speed bars, we wouldn't know when the counter trend traders are coming in. These green boxes tell us that the counter trend traders are coming in. Green against red. If we're in uptrend, you look for red boxes. That's when the counter trend traders are coming in also. You're seeing a big volume spike on this big move up for a reversal. So what happens is, instead of trading off here and going short here off of 120.20, right, because this would be a 20 tick stop because here's a low and here's the high. So what, what you could do is you can check down to a smaller time frame and you can say, okay, let me go ahead and pop in the trade when momentum shows up on my smaller time frame. This is a 113.13. So here's what has to happen. The MA has to cross. If you want serious momentum in the market, your 20 has to cross down through this 50 after a qualified FCR zone inside the 20, and you look for the first arrow to fire with a momentum trade. Now, this momentum trade is unique. We call this an extreme momentum. We call it extreme momentum because it never even got above 20. With the arrow that fired, and this is a nice trade. I mean, you're looking at, depending on your fill, 32 and a quarter all the way down to 20, you're talking about a 12 S&P point run just off this momentum set off off a smaller time frame. So you can use the 113.13 to fire in the trade. I don't like to take trades if the cross is, if the cross is, if I'm strictly looking for a 20 to set it up and a 13 to get in, I don't like unless the MA's crossed. All right, and you gotta be on the same size as the 150 and the ATR. Yeah, that's a 50, 50 Thomas. You see how we cross here? This would be in the algo also. It's called a first cross trade. We cross and never comes back and crosses back above it before the arrow fires. That's called a first cross trade. If you see first cross trades, that's a cross with ATR, red ATR. The arrow automatically fired here. The oscillator didn't even get above. It not only was it below 80, it was below 20, which is an extreme sell set off. That's a 150 EMA. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to qualify the smaller time frame, Thomas, by allowing it to roll over and get a momentum after the 12020 has formed. Okay? Now what you don't want to trade are these off a smaller time frame. Why don't you want to trade these? Because now What's this, Nick? Let's quiz Nick today here. Nick, what is this right here based on the oscillator? What is that based upon the oscillator? 
What type of trade setup that is that? Any idea? Yeah, but it's not, yes, but it's not the zone, is it? You see what I'm saying? A full zone retracement, meaning it has to be at the zone. So what you do, you don't take the arrow. This is a no trade. That's how you cherry pick trades. And this is a Momo after the, we turned the 20, turned with an automated arrow. That's a Momo trade, and it was a big one, 13 SP point potential. You see the difference, Nick? How you can check down a smaller time frame? It's like this on a daily basis, man. It's pretty neat. So then we come back up, Nick, and then we're, we come into what's called a what? Now what is this? Because the because the indicator the indicator is recognizing the momentum because that's the momentum of the market and also the FCR. I I'm, I could try take this out of there, um, mm -hmm. Phil, which I probably will on the update. But the oscillator. When it gets above 80, I'll have to have it removed for the update, so I don't even fire off. But just showing in the room right now, don't take the trade. All right, so now we're up to up to date price action. So now this is an FCR again, right? FCR was zone. These green speed boxes, you see these green speed boxes? What these green speed boxes represent, they represent counter trend traders getting caught in the market. So if you are red zone, if you're red zone and you get into it, that's an FCR because the oscillator is above 80. So let's take a look at price action since 5.30 this morning. It's around almost 9 o'clock this morning. So here's an FCR. This is a smaller time frame. You can still trade off the smaller time frame if you want. I just like the larger time frame to set it up with an MA cross, but you don't need to do that if you want to just trade off the smaller time frame. Like I said, some traders are scalpers. It's a MoMA. Oh, that's an FCR too. FCR. It's a MoMO. That's an FCR. So this is strictly a 113.13. Okay. Now, what's forming right now, Nick? What trades this right now? What trade are we looking at right now? Momo, correct. Yep. Because the oscillator is below, correct. Aaron, do you take action on FCRs in the smaller time frames? I do. I like to, but I like the smaller stocks, but I also trade larger time frames. Like I got the algo running right now on five different charts, and it, they're pretty large time frames. But they're also the micros. I'm running them alive right now with, with live monies. You don't have to trade a small time frame. You don't have to trade a large time frame. It, it really, it's up to your risk tolerance and your account size. Depending on your account size, if you if your account size can't uh, withstand a 135.35, you know, or 130.30, I mean, you have to go down to a smaller time frame. Yeah, let's go back to yesterday. Let's look at chop. So let me show you how I can avoid trades now. One second. Yeah, so to answer Phil's question, you know, I'll try to remove that out of the algo. In fact, I will. I just got to figure out how to, I got to code it the right way. But as far as the room goes, don't take those trades. Don't take trades that are FCRs away from the zone. I just have to code it the right way, Phil. 
in the room, don't take those trades out until I get it coded correctly. You don't want to take FCRs outside of the zone, period. 